Hey gamers! If you are a fan of Metroidvania games, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you Best Dark Metroidvania Games Part 2 that you should play. If you haven't watched the Part 1, I will put the link in the description below, so you don't get confused why some games are not mentioned. And some of you might disagree with my list, but that's okay. All I know this game is a good game. But before we go into the list, let's hear quick words from our sponsor. Do you know Instant Gaming is a fantastic place to buy games? It's renowned for offering exclusive discounts that you won't find anywhere else, and it's easy to access as well. You can browse and purchase games for various platforms like PC, PS5, Xbox, and even Nintendo Switch. All you have to do is enter the link in the description below, create your own ID, and start searching for your favorite games. Once you buy them, you'll get an activation code for your chosen platform. And by clicking on my link, your not only saves you money but also supports this channel. Always remember, if you want to buy games, just visit Instant Gaming. Alright then, let's get back into the list. Angel's Gear is a 2D dark-themed metroidvania set in a world overtaken by a machine virus called Gear. You start as a soldier on a mission to destroy the Gear, but everything changes when a dragon appears, turning the sky green and making the environment look sick and eerie. The game features a hub area with unique characters who offer guidance and side quests, like a cheerful blacksmith who was once an angel. With survival horror elements, you manage ammo carefully and face off against a scientist who unleashed the gear virus. Despite its short playtime, Angel's Gear offers a fresh and engaging experience for fans of the genre. Scottfold Usurper is a captivating Metroidvania action RPG set in a monster-infested London where you control a revived corpse aiming to stop an otherworldly citadel's menace. With stunning retro-styled visuals and a Victorian-inspired art direction, the game offers a visually immersive experience. The sound design featuring gothic music and atmospheric effects perfectly complements the dark setting. The gameplay is challenging and rewarding, with a unique guard bar mechanic that adds depth to combat. Players can explore, gather a variety of weapons, and level up character stats to suit their playstyle. If you fancy a great Castlevania-style game, Scottfold, Usurper is one I recommend wholeheartedly. The Mummy Demastered is an impressive run-and-gun game that combines elements from classics like Contra, Castlevania, and Metroid offering a thrilling experience. You play as an elite paramilitary trooper navigating beautifully detailed environments while battling supernatural enemies. The tight controls and fluid combat make platforming and shooting highly satisfying. The innovative life and death mechanic adds an exciting layer of strategy as you reclaim your gear from zombified predecessors. Overall, The Mummy Demastered is a polished, enjoyable adventure that will captivate fans of 16-bit classics and Metroidvania games alike. Unworthy is a challenging Metroidvania platformer heavily influenced by Dark Souls, requiring players to adapt to its unique combat style. The game features a dark, grim setting where you must escape the afterlife and collect fragments of a great bell to find salvation. Combat is centered around timing swings and rolls, with no jumping or physical depth, making it tough but rewarding for those who master it. The game lacks extensive narrative, relying on environmental storytelling and occasional NPC encounters. Players must follow the game's strict combat mechanics, which can be frustrating but ultimately satisfying when perfected. Venture to the Vile is a 2.5D Metroidvania, where you battle monstrous minions to uncover the fate of your lost friend Ella. The game features a dynamic environment with a day-slash-night and weather cycle, interactive puzzles, and challenging boss battles. Its visuals evoke a Tim Burton-like gothic Victorian aesthetic, making it a visually unique experience. However, it starts slow and has some performance issues. Despite these flaws, the game's engaging story, memorable boss fights, and immersive world make it a worthwhile adventure, especially for fans of dark whimsical animated films.
Elder Anne is a 2D action platformer set in a world inspired by H.P. Lovecraft's cosmic horror themes that combines Cthulhu mythos with classic Metroidvania elements. Offering a connected world, challenging bosses, and unlockable paths, players control an unnamed mercenary who must battle through various biomes, uncovering the story through notes and item descriptions. The game features a wide selection of weapons across three categories, melee, bows, and magic, each with unique characteristics and playstyles. Elderan's combat system allows players to switch between two loadouts on the fly, keeping the gameplay fresh and adaptable. The game's gothic tone, grim art style, and level design draw inspiration from Castlevania, incorporating familiar elements like sub-weapons to enhance the combat experience. <laughs> Dark Light invites players into a grim Metroidvania adventure where darkness reigns supreme. Set in a post-apocalyptic world, you play as a dark hunter fighting monstrous creatures from a dark void. The game mixes classic Metroidvania elements with challenging Souls-like and roguelite mechanics, offering a fresh take on the genre. Explore a dark, cyberpunk-inspired underground filled with enemies, secrets, and upgrades, and choose between two factions to shape your journey. Despite some repetitiveness and a somewhat loose story, Dark Light provides a gripping and replayable experience with its addictive gameplay and atmospheric design. If you're a fan of 2D side-scrollers with a lot of content, this game is worth a look. Minoria is a thrilling Metroidvania following their previous hit Mamadora Reverie under the moonlight. In this game, you control Sister Samilla, a fierce nun armed with a sword, on a quest to rescue kidnapped princesses from wicked witches in the crumbling kingdom of Remesia. The combat is a standout feature, offering fast-paced action and a rewarding parry system that makes each fight exhilarating. Boss battles, particularly against the witches, are challenging and require skillful use of your abilities. While the game's 2.5D graphics are smooth, they sometimes suffer from frame rate drops and lack variety in design. Despite being shorter than some Metroidvanias, Minoria's impressive combat makes it a must-play for fans of the genre. <laughs> Ghost Song stands out among the sea of Metroidvanias with its intriguing premise and captivating characters. You play as a reanimated being, exploring a mysterious planet and uncovering secrets while battling various aliens. While the game's combat is engaging and the variety of weapons adds excitement, the repetitive environments and rare save points can make the exploration feel monotonous. The Souls-like upgrade system offers a rewarding experience, but the game's challenging bosses and random difficulty spikes can sometimes feel unfair. Additionally, the tedious ship part retrieval system can drag on, making the overall experience less enjoyable. Dark Devotion is an atmospheric action RPG that delivers a compelling Metroidvania-style adventure with a rich pixel art aesthetic. The game drops you into a Templar navigating a mysterious ancient temple, where survival hinges on mastering a unique control scheme and strategic combat. Unlike typical Souls-likes, it features a challenging gameplay loop where death sends you back to the sanctuary, but lets you retain valuable experience for upgrades. The character progression system is well-designed making even small improvements impactful in battles. Overall, if you're seeking a test of reflexes and patience, Dark Devotion offers a gripping experience despite its minimalistic storytelling. Mamadora Moonlit Farewell delivers a captivating final chapter in the beloved Metroidvania series. In this installment, players step into the shoes of Momo, a priestess on a quest to restore balance after demons unleash chaos with a stolen artifact. The game shines with its engaging combat system and a variety of magical abilities that add depth and strategy to each encounter. Its exploration is a joy, with diverse areas to discover and a host of intriguing collectibles and side quests. The pixel art and soundtrack beautifully complement the mystical world, enhancing the overall experience. With its blend of challenge and charm, this game is a fitting and memorable conclusion to the series.
Lost Ruins offers a gripping survival-focused Metroidvania experience set in a dark, enchanting castle. You play as a young woman summoned to the castle, where you must explore, fight monsters, and solve puzzles to recover her lost memories. The game stands out with its stunning retro-inspired pixel art, bringing vibrant and distinct visuals to both handheld and docked modes. Boss fights are a highlight, providing a thrilling challenge with their intricate designs and multiple phases. Exploration is engaging, with plenty of hidden weapons, equipment, and optional quests that enrich the experience. Overall, Lost Ruins delivers an immersive adventure with a rich world and compelling gameplay for fans of the genre. Record of Lodos War Deed Lit in Wonder Labyrinth is a delightful Metroidvania that draws inspiration from classics like Castlevania's Symphony of the Night. The game introduces a unique spirit system where Deed Lit can switch between wind and fire elements, adding an exciting layer of strategy to battles and exploration. The level design is thoughtfully crafted, encouraging exploration while keeping the map engaging and manageable. Innovative puzzles and combat mechanics ensure that each challenge feels rewarding and integrated into the gameplay. Completing the game unlocks additional modes and challenges, offering plenty of replay value. Overall, this game provides a satisfying adventure that fans of the genre will thoroughly enjoy. Axiom Verge is a standout example of modern game design that revitalizes classic ideas with a fresh twist. In this game, you play as Trace, who finds himself in the eerie world of Sudra after a lab accident. The game excels in creating a dark, immersive atmosphere, filled with strange creatures and ancient technology. One of the game's highlights is the Address Disruptor, a tool that can alter enemies and reveal hidden areas, adding layers of depth to the exploration. With its rich, atmospheric storytelling and clever gameplay mechanics, Axiom Verge offers a captivating experience that's hard to put down. Aslaber Revision is a dark and captivating side-scrolling action RPG. Drawing inspiration from classic games like Ease 3 and Vanillaware's titles, it offers a unique blend of intricate character progression and intense combat mechanics. The story begins with a boy and a talking crow navigating a world plagued by demons, unveiling a deep tale of fate, memory, and personal growth. As players battle through challenging enemies and uncover the mysteries of the scales of Astria, they experience a gripping and emotional journey. With its engaging gameplay and compelling story, Astlaber Revision stands out as a remarkable achievement from a solo developer. Its dark, dreamlike atmosphere and innovative mechanics make it a standout title in the RPG genre. And that's it for today. What do you think about this list? I know there are dark Metroidvania games out there that I haven't mentioned yet. Please share your favorite dark Metroidvania games that you think deserve a spot here. Don't forget to like this video, and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss another great list. And as always, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.